new faces at RHS. And a great start for girls. All today on On, on the, the Air. I'm your host, Houston Carver. You got Rob in Houston, like a charity event. Hold the radio TV is what I meant, don't you? Rob said us here. Every year we see new faces at RHS, and no, we're not talking about freshmen. Teachers come and go, and this year we have several new faculty to introduce to you for the new year. I caught up with some new RHS teachers. Here's what they had to say. Uh, Richmond has just so many opportunities that a smaller school can't provide um, that uh, it, was, it was something that I wanted to explore some of those opportunities and then the um, challenge of teaching AP classes. Um, I'm teaching the AP Physics 1 and AP Physics 2, which were not offered at Northeastern, and so um, I was kind of enticed by that challenge. Uh, so far, I love it. Everybody here has been so nice, so welcoming. Um, it seems like a great place to be, and I'm happy to be here. I came to Richmond because I student taught here last year. I actually student taught in three different locations, and Richmond was by far my favorite. I love it. Actually, everybody's been really great. Um, I'm really happy with my classes. Actually, really no problems so far. Treat our new RHS faculty kindly. I'm Macy Thornburg. Back to you guys in the studio. We'll introduce you to more new teachers on Friday, but now it's time to check in with Brayden for some announcements. Time to think about girls basketball and a special opportunity for seniors. But first, let's talk about girls basketball. Girls planning on playing basketball this winter if you're not in a fall sport. Remember, conditioning starts next Monday after school. Be dressed and ready to work out starting at 3.50 p.m. Remember, do not park in the Career Center parking lot. You must have a tag to park in that parking lot. And if you don't, you run the risk of being towed. Students should park in the lot across from the football field or along Hub Edges and Parkway. Freshmen and sophomores, there is still time to try out for football. If you're interested, see one of the coaches. Practice is every day after school at 4 p.m. You must have a physical on file. Peer helpers have a new room. The peer helpers will be located in Mr. Turner's old room, R-235. The volleyball team needs students interested in being team managers. If you're interested, see Mr. Fisher in the attendance office after school or in the Tiernan Center after school. Seniors, today and Thursday you have the chance to meet with one of our recent graduates who is attending Harvard and talk about getting admitted to the college of your choice. Dustin Swander will be available during all three lunches each day in the conference room across from the cafeteria to answer questions on great writing admission or how or have any other questions. That's your announcements. Back to you guys. After some storms on Monday, the rest of the week seems to be looking nice. That's right. Beautiful weather is here for the rest of the week. Today we'll see sunny skies at highs in the upper 70s. Overnight skies remain clear with lows dropping into the mid 50s. Thursday we start to warm up just a little with highs climbing back into the low 80s, but we stay dry and sunny. Overnight into Friday, some clouds start to roll back in, but we won't see any rain. Just a little warmer temperatures with highs in the mid 80s as we warm up for a hot weekend. That's your weather. Make sure to tune in with us on Friday to see how hot the weekend's going to be. While many RHS fall sports teams haven't started their seasons yet, one has, and Austin Bain tells us they're off to a great start. The girls' golf team started off strong winning two of their first invitationals, but here are some of the girls to let you know how the season is going to go. Exciting year for the golf team. We have two seniors and three freshmen, so we're fairly young and balanced. Um, we're each capable of shooting pretty low, and so I think if we just grind for pars, uh, we'll do really well this season. This is to go to state this year, or at least make it to regionals, and play as best as we can. Um, the main goal is for three of us to shoot in the 70s, and then two of us to shoot in the 80s. And um, one goal personally for me is to um, do the best I can. Um, I think we're going to have a great year. We have a great team. We're doing one, two invitationals already. The freshmen are just really talented and it's going to be a great season. The girls golf team started off strong, but let's see how they can finish their season. Stop it. Let's see if they can end their season with a state run by a few of their players. And last night, the girls golf team pulled out a victory against Franklin County. That's our show. We'll see you back here on Friday. 
this Friday. Maybe next Friday, but yeah.